Hey everyone, Greg Agnew with the UAC, Thursday, January 6th. I'm at 10,300 feet on a northwest slope in Upper Big Cottonwood Canyon. And this is what I've been seeing today. Um, on the slope, there's a little over two meters of snow. So that means that with about a 30 centimeter layer of faster than snow down near the ground, we have almost two meters of snow on top of it. Here's recent storm snow in the last uh, 36 hours or so. This is approximately the interface of the recent storm snow and the old snow surface. Yesterday, there was much less snow. When I was out, there was just 10 to 15 centimeters of new snow, and I was finding the interface between the, the denser storm snow and the old snow surface to be pretty sensitive. I was getting some really easy shears uh, with shovel tilt tests and compression tests. Today, I'm not finding any instabilities within the storm snow or at the interface of the old snow surface. The, the slab goes from maybe fist hardness at the top, but really beginning with four, four fingers and in the storm slab, and then it goes to one finger. So this is the old, the old, um, the old snow surface. And then down a little less than a meter from the surface, it goes to pencil hardness. So we're seeing on top of the facets, a really strong right side up snowpack, but there's facets down below. What I've seen today is because I'm not getting any instabilities within the storm snow, I think on slopes that do not have weak facets underneath, we're seeing stabilization. And this is what we expect when we have a heavy, dense storm, uh, came in warm and windy and wet, and instability settle out pretty rapidly. There fall, it was falling on a, an old snow surface that didn't really have faceted weaknesses. There are some um, lower density snow, but those instabilities settled out pretty quickly. Going forward, what really concerns me is this tremendous amount of snow and water weight, um, three, two to three inches in the central Wasatch, some isolated areas even more, more water weight, on top of those facets. So I need to give it more time. I heard this morning of a really large natural avalanche in the Silver Fork headwall, uh, so that likely ran on facets. So I need that faceted layer to have more time. But on slopes that don't have the faceted layer, I'm seeing stability. We'll see what happens. I'm looking forward to getting more observations today and hearing what uh, results from control work at resorts get and in the highway. Uh, but for now, I'm seeing within the storm snow, instabilities have settled out.